Welcome to Crex Meadows, a 30,000 acre tract of land devoted to wildlife. Many kinds of wildlife are attracted to the restored wetlands and brush prairie habitats found here. Crex is home to more than 270 species of birds, along with many species of mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and colorful insects. But Crex Meadows exists in its present state only because of the intensive wildlife management practices conducted on the property. Prior to settlement, this area was a sea of brush prairie with scattered trees interspersed with vast marshes. Naturally occurring wildfires maintained the area in a relatively open condition. Prairie and wetland species of plants and animals flourished. Settlement, beginning in the 1800s, resulted in many changes to the area now occupied by Crex. Wetland drainage began in the late 1890s, and by 1930, most of the wetlands had been drained. Another product of settlement, fire suppression, effectively reduced the number and extent of naturally occurring wildfires. In the absence of fire, most of the once common brush prairie grew into forest. Wetland drainage and fire suppression altered the natural habitats to the extent that many native wildlife species abandoned the area. Crex Meadows Wildlife Area was born in 1946 when the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources purchased 12,000 acres of tax delinquent land to start a public hunting ground. The management goal of Crex was to restore the wetland and brush prairie habitats back to their pre-settlement conditions, thus allowing the native wildlife species to return. In the late 1940s, the first dikes were constructed to restore and enhance the drain wetlands. Since then, more than 20 miles of dikes were constructed to reflood 8,000 acres of formerly drained marshes. At the same time, a large-scale prescribed burning program was initiated to restore and maintain the brush prairie habitat that historically covered much of northwest Wisconsin. The restored prairies of Crex continue to be burned on a regular basis for maintenance purposes. Due to these extensive habitat restoration efforts, wildlife is again thriving on Crex. When the habitat was restored, the native wildlife returned. This property has become a wildlife showplace and one of the premier wildlife viewing areas in the Midwest. 125,000 visitors flock to Crex each year. Most come to watch wildlife. Visitors range from the casual sightseer to the hardcore birder looking to add Crex specialties like yellow rail or Nelson's sharp-tailed sparrow to their life list of birds. Visitors are drawn to Crex because of its large size, vast open vistas, and the abundance and diversity of plants and wildlife, including many rare and endangered species. 40 miles of roads, a rest area, and a series of observation areas provide excellent viewing opportunities. The land changes dramatically during the seasons. The barren landscapes of winter come alive in spring with an explosion of brightly colored prairie wildflowers. Wildlife activity begins with the unique display of sharp-tailed grouse and continues with a constant influx of spring migrants. Wildlife is less evident during the summer after the transient species leave and the local residents turn their attention to raising young. During the summer, many visitors enjoy following the progress of the resident wildlife families. Autumn is the busiest time of year for both wildlife and visitors. Thousands of sandhill cranes, geese, ducks, and many other migrants congregate here in the fall to feed and rest during their journey south. For a truly memorable experience, visit the south end of the refuge at dawn and watch as thousands of sandhill cranes and geese begin their day. 
bald eagles, ducks, trumpeter swans, egrets, and many other species reach their peak abundance in fall. Fall also marks the beginning of the hunting season, when thousands of hunters take advantage of the excellent hunting opportunities available at Crex. It should be noted that although the number of hunters is small in comparison to the total number of visitors, it is the hunters who provide nearly all the funding for Crex. Without their financial support, Crex Meadows would not exist. Wisconsin conservationist, hunter, and writer Aldo Leopold wrote, Poor land may be rich country, and vice versa. Only economists mistake physical opulence for riches. Country may be rich, despite a conspicuous poverty of physical endowment, and its quality may not be apparent at first glance, nor at all times. This could be said of Crex Meadows. Crex is not grand mountains, old growth forest, deep rock canyons, or cascading waterfalls. The beauty and richness of Crex is subtle and delicate, from the open brush prairie to the vast sedge marshes. People are drawn back to Crex to observe the seasonal changes, from the spring birth of the prairie flowers and timeless display of the sharp-tailed grouse, to the departing autumn calls of geese and cranes. But Crex Meadows, like all of our public lands, requires constant care through human commitment and diligence. And to support this care requires awareness and understanding from the people who come to visit and recreate.